Now let's talk about something known as isomorphic graphs. Okay, isomorphic graphs. We've already seen isomorphism in rings and groups, right? So it is very similar to that concept. Let us define an isomorphic graph. Let G1, which is like this, V1, E1, and G2, which is like this, V2, E2, be two graphs, okay? We call them isomorphic if if there exists a bijective function. Bijective means one to one and on to. Okay, if there exists a bijective function like this from v one to v two such that such that for all a comma b belonging to v1 if a comma b is a edge in e1 then it implies and is implied by f a comma f b is a edge in E2. Okay? If it is the case, then we say that the graphs are isomorphic. So what it basically tells you that if this is A and this is B, okay, and let us suppose F of A is equal to C and F of B is equal to D, then if your graph 1 has an edge like this, then your graph 2 should have a edge like this, okay? Since f of a is c and f of b is d, then there should be a edge between c and d as well, okay? Where c d belongs to what? c d belongs to your v2, okay? And this belongs to your e2. And a b belongs to your e1 and this particular edge, sorry, v1, and this particular edge belongs to your even. Okay? So we are going to take example and understand this concept in much better clarity. Let's take an example. Now we have these two graphs available over here. Okay? Let us see if this is a isomorphic graphs. Okay? If these are isomorphic. So what is the definition of my isomorphism? It says that my function should exist which is bijective and the function should be such that if A and B have a edge between them in E1 then FA and FB should have a edge between them in E2 and vice versa. Okay? It is a biconditional. Okay? So let's check out if such a thing exists over here. I have a edge between A and B and I have a edge between A and D. Okay. Similarly, over here I have a edge between 1 and 2 and 1 and 3. So, let us suppose I take my f of A is equal to 1. Okay. And I take f of B equal to we have this and we have this. Okay, so I can take f of b is equal to 2. Then there is an edge from a to d, right? And here is an edge from 1 to 3. So, I would take f of b equal to 3. And you have a, b, d already there, okay? Now there is an edge from c to b and c to d, okay? What is your b over here? You are saying b is 2 and you are saying d is 3, okay? So let's check out if we have a vertex that is connected to 2 and 3. This is 2, this is 3, right? So 4 is the vertex which is connected to 2 and 3. So, I am going to say that f 